Curtis. This is a six-round contest in the junior middleweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Akron, Ohio, weighing in at 153 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career, 13 wins, one draw with three KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Joe Walker. And in the blue corner, from San Diego, California, weighing 152 pounds. His professional record consists of 13 wins, one defeat, with eight KOs, introducing Terry Norris. I gave your instructions in the dressing room. Watch your low blows, watch your head when I tell you to part, break even, understand? In case of a knockdown, go to a neutral corner, stay there until I tell you to come out, because it might cost you a fight if you come out before I tell you to come out. Shake hands, let's have a good fight. That's it. It's entirely possible that referee Joey Curtis could preside over three short fights in a row. They both got KO power. Joe Walker with three of them. And Terry Norris from San Diego with eight KO. The way they go, no scheduled for six or less. Joe Walker spent most of this year until September when he fought Tony Hopkins by beating Wardell Langston. He fought him three times in a row, twice in Akron and once in Toronto, Canada. Managed to knock him out once and win decisions in the other two. I like it so much, he did it three straight times. Joe, Terry Norris, we have seen him before here on ESPN. Very quick fighter. Good hand speed right now. Uh, Walker's going after him, but there you see the, the, the hand speed of Norris coming back. Walker just uh, looked like a thrown off balance there. Just slipped following through one of those punches as he landed about half a dozen good ones to Norris. Nice and easy break Go ahead on the break. Double jab, Joe. Double jab. Throw that jab. Of course, only lost uh, in August against Derek Kelly in uh, the forum in California. Lost the decision to 10. Truly lost that fight. Did not perform well. He had the right conditioning. And uh, he says he learned that. Oh, he just got hit with a big right by Walker. He's holding on. Norris, the younger brother of our main event fighter tonight, is going to challenge Larry Alexander for the heavyweight title in North America. Orland Norris, he's 22, and this young man, two years younger, Terry, is 20. Trains with Orland out on uh, River Trombo, the manager Joe Sajadovich out at his ranch in the San Diego area. What a complex they have out there for boxers. Some interesting training techniques, some a little different than we're used to. They've had good success. That's the halfway mark of the first round. Terry told us this morning he went down to welterweight for that bout you talked about that he lost. And, uh, that isn't the right weight for him. He's back where he wants to be now as a junior middle. He's really comfortable with a good left hook by... Oh, another one. Another one. And Walker is down. Oh. Curtis admonishing uh, Morris for hitting him while he's down, but he is in big trouble. I have to he say, is. he may be disqualified, and I don't think that's wrong. I don't know. We'll see what Joey Curtis does. Walker is in desperate difficulty sitting down there, legs shooting out in all directions. He may be disqualified, and that's not wrong if he is. Terry Norris is a, is a delightful young man. He's a good, a good boxer. What's going to happen here? What's the ruling? It wouldn't be wrong if they did it, I'll tell you. And, and I think Terry Norris is a good young man and a good boxer, but that was wrong. And we've seen a lot of that in boxing today. There it is. He hit him when he's down, and he has been disqualified. And Walker gets out of it, but Norris, just over-anxious, he did not have to do that, as you saw. And there's... Excuse me, Don. I didn't mean to interrupt you. There is no argument on it. There shouldn't be from Terry Norris. He's distressed with himself more than anything else. A very good call by Joey Curtis. A very good call. Let's take a look at it, and I think you'll see just how blatant it was. Some of the fans booing. Now, there he is down. Now, he's not down for a long... Oh, no way. You have to disqualify the man. It's a must. Because he was already on the ground. He cocked once, reloaded, and then hit him when he was down. No need to do that. None at all. Terry would be the first to tell you he made a bad would. mistake. I think you would. And certainly his camp, Rich Wombo and Joe Sajadovich are gentlemen. They know it was wrong. Well, let's hear it officially now. The decision by Joey Curtis from Chuck Dahl. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joey Curtis has disqualified Terry Norris for hitting his opponent after he was down. The winner is Joe Walker. It is
is something a good referee has to do. There's no question about that. It's a blatant, blatant, blatant mistake by Terry Norris. Totally unnecessary. He had the fight won. Walker wasn't going to continue, but Walker, because of the ambitious move by Norris, the reckless move, wins it.